Hey guys, today I want to show you how to convert this cheap USB to Ethernet adapter. So it's discovered by the system as a D-Link Dub E100, which will allow you to use it in Volkswagen Audi Group cars as a um, development device. So I've got it off AliExpress. It's pretty cheap, six bucks with uh, shipping around three dollars. So in total, less than ten bucks for it. And um, Thanks to the chip that's inside, you can change the uh, product number and the vendor vendor number. So it's discoverable as a dealing device, as I said. So over here I have Raspberry Pi running Linux and I'm going to connect this to the Raspberry Pi, connect with the Raspberry Pi from my, from my uh, laptop over here. Mm, but that's only for my convenience so I can um, record the screen and all the uh, things that I'm doing with it. So in the description below this video you will find details and all the commands that I'm using over here and right now let's let's just try to convert this into something more useful. And we are done and right now let's check if it actually is discovered by the car as we hope to. Over here the black one is a device uh, that will be not supported by the car just so we can see how the not supported device is handled, handled by the device and the white one is the modified one which I just showed you a few seconds uh, before. So right now let's turn on the system Let's go into um, MIP2 standard toolbox because uh, this is the simplest way to show you that um, um, this device is discoverable, discoverable or not. Let's go into green menu, toolbox, network, and we have two IP addresses over here, 127 and 10. And right now let's connect the black one, the not supported one, to the USB port in the um, front compartment. And we can see that nothing is changing over here. Everything is still the same. So let's disconnect this. And let's connect the white one right now. And immediately we have another IP address so we know that this device is now recognized as a, um, as a network interface for this unit okay 
in the description below this video you will find all the commands that i've used as well as the link to aliexpress if you want to buy a device like this one hope that this tutorial helped you a little bit give it a thumbs up if it does and that's it for today see you soon